Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna work on a new project. We're gonna do a wax seal with a different logo than those two I just showed you. So first thing I'm gonna do is load up some brass stock. And I like to start out with getting a quarter 20 thread on the back of these. It's, uh, it's significant enough to hold it in the wood and uh, easy enough to just knock it out real quick. So put on the thread and then I'm gonna put a little relief. Um, my die can't get it down to the bottom so give it a little relief so it can get nice and tight when I actually screw this together. Now I put a little taper so it's easy to see kind of where you're lining up the wax seal. And then I add a little shelf. Uh, I think it's just a nice little decorative element. It makes it look a little bit better from the side view. And uh, here we go, we're gonna part this off. I tell you what, see that Atlas chuck that I'm using? That thing has been a game changer in my shop. I didn't realize how much I was gonna love that. It's a 5C collet chuck, but it's got the hand wheel so it's real easy to, here you go, see me flop the part over and adjust it. I tell you what, it has become a major part in my workshop. So now we're going to face that off, get it nice and clean. And here is the new addition to the shop, the Thunder Laser. It's the Aurora 8, and it's the 100-watt fiber laser. It's got removable panels on the side. The green light there tells you that it's safe to open the top. When there's a red light, that's uh, not safe to open it. So you can see there that red light, that's your autofocus. It's got lights that you can adjust the brightness on the inside. And then it also has an exhaust fan. So when you're, you know, engraving uh, certain materials, plastics, um, brass, just things you don't want to breathe, that's shooting it outside. So I've got the uh, part set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and blast my logo. And I'm using the deep carve setting. So this is a time lapse here, but it was only about uh, maybe 15 minutes of carving for this particular side. So, and I went about one millimeter deep. And the one millimeter deep I think is key. So once we get that finished, I'm gonna go ahead. This is a walnut. Um, actually, no, it's not walnut. This is the cocobolo that I, a little bit of cocobolo I had left over. And I'm going ahead and just making myself a nice little wood handle here. And one thing that's different about this uh, particular um, wax seal that I wanted to do, the when you're lining up a wax seal, it's kind of difficult sometimes because you don't know exactly where your art lines up. So I decided to make a little cavity in the back and I made a coin uh, with the same logo that I'm going to be stamping so that I can line them up and index it so it's really easy for me to tell where the um, where the wax stamp is going to be nice and straight. I hate getting them uh, crooked when I stamp the letters for customers. So here I spin the wood around and this coca bowl is hard enough that you can actually just tap it. Now I will come back in after I tap it when I'm doing the assembly and I'll put a little super glue in there just as added insurance. Of course, if it comes loose, we can fix her up again, but uh, that I find that it taps pretty, pretty, pretty well and stays rock solid. So there you go. Got it in, let it dry. And then now the key is lining up this medallion on the back and I made it a little press fit, give it a couple taps here. And uh, once that's lined up, now I can always have it straight when I stamp. So. A little quick oil finish here and then uh, we're ready to try it out so I think the key is, is staying underneath a millimeter deep for your engravings um, and that gives you a real crisp edge on your wax seals so every time somebody buys a pen for me I stamp I so write them a custom letter thanking them for the purchase and the support and you can see here that little DeWalt glue gun those are actually wax glue um, seals and it's really nice if you're doing a lot to have that thing of course the trigger went out so you see me pushing on the back to get it to work but uh, there it is and check it out I'll zoom in here let you guys see how clean it is and I'm really loving that the thunder laser the thing has been awesome and you'll see some more videos of it and I'll talk about some settings in some upcoming videos hope you guys have a great day